you're looking at the Chrysopelia paradisi, commonly known as the flying snake. It's a tree dweller native to South and Southeast Asia. Being a cylinder, being a snake, it's probably the, the type of animal that you'd least expect to be able to fly through the air. And they, they actually can't, they can't fly like a bird or a bat or an insect. They can't go up. They can only go down. Um, so really, they're, they're a glider. With a grant from the National Geographic Society, biologist Jake Soha traveled to Singapore to film the snakes in action. Soha and his team built a 15-meter tall tower to launch the snakes from so they could record the animal's trajectory. When it jumps into the air, it takes its body and it goes from, from being uh, circular in cross-section to something that, that is much more flattened. The other thing that it does, um, behaviorally, is it, is it undulates in the air. So when you see the animal gliding, it's, it really looks like it's, it's, it's swimming through the air. Um, and it might be, in essence, sort of surfing the waves that it's creating, the, the waves of air that it's pushing backwards. The scientists believe that understanding how the snakes move might hold the key to the next generation of flying vehicles. I'm Mike Webbin for CBSNews.com.